I'm calling these stacked transitions. And I sort of discovered this technique when I was creating my matrix video the other day. You see, in that video, there is this transition. Now this transition is actually made up of several standard DaVinci Resolve transitions stacked or layered on top of each other to create a unique looking transition. Now it is a workaround, it's a bit of a hack. If you want to create these transitions properly, you should do so with Infusion, but in a pinch, this can be a really cool way of quickly creating some unique effects and some unique transitions. Now I'm just gonna show you a quick few examples, but if you discover some that work really well, comment below, let us all know the things that you think look really cool so we can all try them out for ourselves. Now you can do this in the free Audio Studio versions of DaVinci Resolve, so let's open it up and I'll show you how. So here we are in Resolve, I've got my footage on my timeline. Now all we're gonna do, open up the effects library, come down to video transitions, and then you can just select any of the video transitions from here. You can use the default ones, you can use the fusion ones, you can even use the user ones. Now, the example that I've used, I'm just gonna show you this. I'm gonna grab this one here called circles, and I'm just gonna drop it on my footage like I would any other transition. And we've got this cool looking circles transition, which looks all right on its own, but we wanna add something else to it to really make it stand out. So what you wanna do, grab your playhead and put it right on this edit point, so right in the middle here, like so. Using your mouse, just highlight the two clips and the transition, and then right click, and then create a new compound clip. Now, compound clips, all they do is compact whatever you've selected into one little package, so it acts like one clip. Everything's still there, you can get it back, you can edit it if you need to, but it just contains everything so it's a little bit easier to deal with. Now it's asking us for a name. What I like to do is to call the compound clip the same name as the transition that you've used. So I'm just gonna call this one circles and then hit create. Now before we do anything else, before I move my playhead, I'm just gonna do a control and B on my keyboard to do a cut in the exact same position or location that the edit point was on the previous. Now what we can do with this cut here, on our compound clip, we can jump into the effects library and we can just grab any other transition. So this time I'm gonna grab this one, which is a drop warp. I'm gonna drop that one on there. And now if we take a look, I'm just gonna move my playhead in the middle. We haven't just got the circles, we've also got this warp effect. So we've still got the circles doing their thing, but we've got the warp effect as well. So if I hit play, we've got this transition, which just looks really cool. Now we can keep going if we want to. So what we're gonna do, playhead in the middle, highlight them all, right click, compound clip, I'm gonna call this one warp, and then hit create. We're gonna do a quick cut right in the same position, and we'll grab a third transition. So I'm just gonna go with the camera shake because I know it adds a cool little RGB effect. We're gonna drop that right on the same position, and now straight away we can see we've got our warp, we've got our circles, and now we've also got this camera shake adding the RGB effect. So if we hit play on this one, we've got this transition, which is just combining all of the different elements. Now what's important to note at this point, open up your media pool, and you'll be able to see the compound clips within there. So we've got one called circles, and we've got one called warp. Now this is why it's not a great permanent solution, because it can really easily clog up your media pool, which is why I recommend if you wanna create these permanently, do something confusion. If there are any that you want me to create for you or help you out with, let me know down in the comment section below. Now what we can do in the media pool, let's go to this circles one. Let's say I wanted to amend this transition. On the circles compound clip, just right click and then you can open in timeline. And that will open down here, that's compound clip. So we're basically inside the compound clip. If we click on the transition, we can see it's the circles and then I can do what I like. I can lengthen it, I can shorten it, I can just do what I would usually do to a transition. I can open up the inspector, I can change the color. So let's just get rid of the red and the blue. We'll have a green one. We can just amend all the options within there. Then all we need to do is go to our timeline to find our original timeline within the media pool. Mine here is just called timeline one. I'm just gonna double click. That's gonna take us to our original timeline. And if we just put my playhead over the middle, you can see that we now have the green circle. So you can always go back and amend them if you need to. Do let us know if you find any cool combinations down in the comment section below. Thanks for watching, take it easy, and see you next time.